Hey, good morning, YouTube. Robert J. Morris here. I've got something that I found this morning. I found a little bit distressing, and I'll, I'll explain why in a minute. This here is from an NBC interview with the uh, team leader from the BRI, which is the French SWAT team. They went in earlier this morning and assaulted Saint-Denis. <laughs> My French isn't so good. But yes, they went and assaulted the Saint-Denis this morning, and an NBC correspondent had interviewed the uh, SWAT team leader. So that said, what I found surprising is that in the video, they showcase the shield that was used at the concert hall. In fact, even though they had just assaulted Saint-Denis, they decided to do a recap on the assault in the concert hall where it all sounded very dramatic. I will play some video clips from that interview. And what I found incredibly interesting is how they would go in with substandard gear. Now let me explain. Riot shields come in various formats. I had done some uh I had done some looking to see if I could find the exact model. Uh it didn't uh I I, I haven't been able to find that model yet maybe somebody out there who knows a little bit more about who their potential suppliers could be i'm still doing some research in that myself right now i've noticed though that these shields do come in several different grades some are good for pistols up to nine mil low velocity and some are good for higher velocity weapons and rifles including armor penetrating rounds and everything else like they they do make different flavors of these riot shields well actually technically these are ta uh, tactical or ballistic shields so that being said the dramatic story of the person holding the shield apparently got shot in the hand because there was a penetration now you can see how there's several uh the, these by the way are just uh those are just basically bolts that hold the, the handle and the, the 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 bulletproof glass the ballistic glass in place so those are not bullet rounds these these four here and these four right here but the rest of these are all stopped bullets however these two i believe it's these two side by side which does correspond with the handle grip you do have absolute penetration now tell me this explain to me this how does a trained SWAT team or tactical team move in on subjects that they know are carrying Kalashnikovs AK-47s with 7.62 millimeter rounds how do they grab the wrong grade of shield how come there's no mention of how they had penetration on such a shield? They showcase a thing and do a great little photo op, which is why I'm calling bullshit on this. Now, like I said, I haven't been able to find the exact manufacturer of this particular shield yet. I found some that look similar. They look, they look close. Uh, if you can see down here, there's a, a frame. So I'm guessing that below the picture here, this is actually going to be sitting on a small double, like a little A-frame with, uh, with wheels on it and they would basically roll in with this. Now, I'm calling bullshit because they would know what they're going up against. Grabbing the wrong shield just isn't an option and I don't know if uh I don't know a 7.62 like at uh you know at let's say uh at, at 10 or 15 yards, uh you wouldn't believe the amount that it loses velocity. These rounds they lose velocity very very quickly. And they're extremely potentially uh, harmful at close ranges, though. Even Kevlar won't stop them at close range. Now, like I said, I'm putting this out there so that other people, if they know a little bit more about this uh, tactical gear, please speak up. I'd like to get some more information on this, and I welcome any and all possible ideas. I just wanted to throw this out because, like I said, I smell bullshit here, and uh, it stinks to all high heaven. Like I said, these are trained professionals, and I sense I sense this is just for photo ops. But anyway, I'm going to play some video now, and you guys be the judge. And like I said, uh, get back to me with whatever information uh, you, you could share. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you very much for listening, and we'll talk at you soon. All right. We Peace. took position at the end of the theater, and then we discover like a, a helm hers I mean more than maybe seven eight thousand people were laying on the floor seven maybe eight hundred yeah 
laying on the floor, tons of blood everywhere. This was the first thing that went through the door. Exactly. And, uh, and it's pretty obvious what happened. Yeah. As soon as we opened the door, the terrorist, one of the terrorists, they, he shot uh, like between 25 to 30 rounds of uh, AK-47 uh, bullet. So 7.62 caliber. And that's it. These are, these are the exactly. Holes. Immediately, we've got <clears throat> a guy in the middle of the, of the group get, get hit in the hand. So he fell down because of the, his, the pain. And, uh, one, fell one, down. one of your officers yeah, was hit. Yeah, in the middle of the, the group. First thing we saw that the guy is shooting. And, and a lot of maybe 20 hostage between the shooter and us. We cannot shoot at that time because it, too, it was too risky for the hostage. At the end of the hallway, we found the two terrorists. It was like a dead end for them. And the first one blew himself with the, with the explosive jacket. And second one tried to do the same, but he gets shot by the two first BI officers. They were both wearing suicide vests. Exactly. And one of them went off. Yeah, there the was blood everywhere. That sound, yeah, yeah. Take these walls and rip them, rip them.